came back to the shop. Um, this week I want to talk about a little bit about um, the system and the, the way things work. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to launch this, this scrub tray. Um, I really think it's, it's something that people need right now, uh, given uh, with all the pandemic and everything kind of rising. Um, I went to a restaurant this week. I don't know if you guys follow my page. You guys have seen the post uh, that I took with my, my friend Josh. Um, I took him to breakfast to go eat. And we went to a restaurant down here in South Tucson uh, to, to go get something to eat because I, mean, I wanted some beer and we wanted some, like a breakfast burrito. So we went out in the morning. When we got there, the place was already packed. There were some people waiting for a table and they asked us if we were eating in or we needed to go. I asked the receptionist, I asked her um, if there were any tables available. She said no, no there weren't and then you know, there were people waiting. And then you know more people came in and we're just standing there. So then the waitress comes up to us. It's like, hey, a couple of you gotta go outside because you know the area is getting too congested. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that's um, that's held that so far. You know, you're wearing your mask. Everybody's there, kind of around. So I asked her that I was in order to go. Uh, I asked her how long the wait was to order to go. She did. This is the only restaurant that I know in town that doesn't offer a curbside service. I'm not gonna say who they are, but they did. I think they need to. So I ordered my food, the waitress said it was 10 minutes. It was like a 10 minute wait uh, to order food. So I ordered, I ordered my birria, my friend ordered his burrito. And then they told us that some of us used to go outside. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go, I'll go wait outside so I don't order to go. So me and him decided to go wait outside. And then more people kept coming in and then that area just kept getting congested. So they were kicking people out and you know, not everybody was allowed to be inside the, the little waiting area inside the restaurant. So they gave us their food. Um, we went back to his truck, he, and, I, and I actually showed him the drug tray. You know, we spread it, you know, from door to door inside his inside his car. He rolled up the windows, turned on the heater. It was a little cold. Uh, put on some music, and we sat inside his car, talked to me and him, and enjoyed our food. Took our mask off. It's 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 a unique experience. It's not uncomfortable. It's actually really cool and I think this is something that the restaurants really do need but I don't know how to get it to them I don't know how to get them to let me try it out at their place of business or how to get a person to hey you know what you need this you want to try this it, it, with all these cases going out to eat uh, kind of worries you this is this is a product that you really need uh, everybody absolutely hates eating in their car I hated it eating in my car until I had my, until I created my grip tray. Now I don't go anywhere without it. Again, yeah, I created it, I invented it. I'm supposed to say that, but I'm just truly being honest. And if this product actually stops somebody from going to a restaurant that has COVID, perfect. Or somebody stops somebody from getting it, oh, even better. It's not something that I take lightly. I don't know how everybody's kind of been affected by it somewhere or another. And it's not a solution, it's not a cure. I'm not saying by any means it'll prevent you from getting it. But believe me, once you try it, it, um, it really changes you a little bit. It kind of, it's a different experience. You know, my daughter said when I when I first took her out to go try it out, she's like, Dad, I honestly thought it wasn't gonna be comfortable. I thought it was gonna be awkward, but she said it's really not. Um, in her words, it, it, it's a little different. And it's actually really nice and comfortable. The people that I've taken out to use it with me have also said the same thing. It's like a, a quote from a person that I've met before said, she's never eaten so comfortable in a car before. And it's actually really cool. And I just don't know how else to get people to try it. So I'm gonna try to keep this video a little short. If you know anybody, or if you're willing to try it out, contact me, I'll lend it to you. I got, I got a few that I've built to, to kind of lend out. If you want to go out to dinner, if you know you're going to go out to dinner, or if you're going to go out to breakfast, contact me. I'll let you borrow one so you can try it out and then return just for a review. Then at that point, if you choose to keep it, you can keep it. As obviously, you have to purchase it, but those are kind of the rules. So let me know, or if you even know like a restaurant that's willing to let me try these out, I'll serve the clients so that way I can get people to, to use them so they can get sort of an experience with them. They're really easy, but 
I don't, that's the way things go. Nothing's easy. <laughs> Nothing's ever easy. It's like the, the, the system, right? There is no, no like point A to point B. There's like point A, and then you gotta go through all these little zigzags to get to point B. And I'm gonna imagine there's a lot of more zigzags to get to point Z. Um, I'm a little passionate about it, only because I think it's something that we really need right now. Not, I'm not just saying it again because I invented it, but it, it's something to at least help alleviate some of the madness to, to help you from going and cramming yourself into a box. You know, all these restaurants do need to be serving people. All these restaurants that are 50% right now need to be serving people because I see a lot of open tables every time I go somewhere. But even though now I don't get off anymore, I eat in my car. Every single restaurant that I know orders offers curbside service. So the way that I use it, I'll order up ahead. Be like, hey, you know, I want this, this, and this. And if I'm taking my daughter, if I'm taking my kids, I'll order for them too. We pull up, we get our service, and we just eat in the car. I don't have to worry about anything at that moment. Except maybe getting some extra napkins or another soda from the waiter. But, you know, sometimes that's even when you're inside the restaurant is an issue. Again, if you know somebody, if you want to try it out, reach out. I'll let you borrow one. I'll let you take one out for a spin. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. All right? Till next time, get the shot.